Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we are doing most used handbags of the summer slash fall of 2024. So it'll probably be a pretty quick video because I don't have that many bags to show you. And there's not a whole lot to say other than that I love these bags. So there's some eye candy. And if you love bags as much as I do, I'm sure you will love this video. So starting off with the Pochette Matisse, this is definitely one of my most used bags every summer because of the Vachetta. I try to, I try not to use it in the fall and winter if there's going to be snow or rain, which here in Utah, it's kind of inevitable. So this baby, unfortunately, is probably going to be put away soon. Um, but I have used this bag so much this summer. If you're familiar with the Pochette Matisse, you know how convenient the organization is. And I just love it. I mostly have been using it as a shoulder bag. I don't actually love the way it sits on my body crossbody. So I don't often wear it crossbody, but I love that you have that option. If you're out and you need to be hands-free real quickly, you can just throw it over across your body and be hands-free. But um, yeah, I don't think I ever really take off the strap and just carry it top handle. I carry it top handle a lot with the strap on, mostly like for grabbing it and moving it to different places. But definitely I'll just carry it like this when I'm at a store or, you know, when I've had to get into it and I'm just grabbing it quickly by the top handle. So that is bag number one. Bag number two will be no surprise if you follow me on any other social media is my Graceful MM. And I am sad to say that this baby is also going to have to be put away soon because the sun has left us and that means the rain and snow are coming. So I love this bag so much. Um, I love using it for days when I wanna take my work stuff somewhere with me, um, but really just days where I'm gonna be out for a long time, many hours, and I just want to throw everything I could possibly need in here, I do that. So love this bag. Um, I will show you guys kind of a little update on the hardware. Um, I just filmed for TikTok an updated wear and tear on my Pouchette Matisse, which I've had for over two and a half years, and the hardware almost looks pristine. And it's kind of got me a little more frustrated about the state of this bag. Hopefully you can see, I think I have showed in another video what the hardware looks like on this bag. And I have only had this for, I got this in the spring this year. So kind of frustrating and it is hardware on hardware, but so is this and I don't have any issues. So kind of interesting. That's my one frustration with this bag. Other than that, I love it. So cute, so functional. I love the slouch and I used it a ton. Next is my St. Laurent Gabby, and I think it's called Vintage Khaki, or maybe it's just khaki. I'm not sure what the color is, but it is the green, and I have used this so much. I just went to Florida uh, in September, and I took this with me, and it was like my... Um, fancier bag like dinners and stuff and it was perfect perfect little size it carries a phone I have an iPhone 15 pro not the plus so it's the regular size it fits my phone it fits a card holder a hand lotion a couple lip products and then that's about it um you can maybe squeeze another small thing in there like a lip product or something but it would be pushing it, but it is very flexible and malleable. So it holds more than you think that it can. And it's perfect. Like it feels like you have nothing on your body when you're wearing this because it is so light and so small, so comfortable. It just forms right to your body. This I love wearing crossbody. I wear a crossbody all the time and it is beautiful. I will say it's lambskin and this is not a scratch, but if you can see right here, it has an indentation. I had set it on a table like this. And when I picked it up off that table, the like trim of the table that it had been sitting on left that indentation in the bag. So I'm hoping that it buffs out. It has been there since like July and it hasn't kind of worked its way out by itself. So if anybody has any tips 
on how to get that out, let me know. But great bag, love it so much. And then last but not least, because this is at a tie for number one with my Pichette Matisse of my all-time favorite bags. This is my Lueve Flamenco in the medium size in chocolate. And I can't say enough good things about this bag. It still smells, I wish you guys could smell it, it still smells like leather. Like just as strong as when I bought it and I love the smell of this leather. That might sick some people out. I love the smell of this leather. Um, I love this bag. It is the most squishy, soft leather I've ever touched and it's beautiful. Um, while I'm showing you, I know this isn't like a wear and tear video, but um, this leather is very, very hard wearing. For being so soft, it is extremely durable. But the other day I was getting out of my husband's work van and he has a little spot on one of the doors that is kind of rusted and the metal's ever so slightly exposed. And my bag hit that spot on the outside of the car as I was getting out and it nicked it right here, just very, very small. And unfortunately that did leave a mark in the leather. Um, but it was a very sharp metal surface. I do not blame the bag. Um, but yeah, that was very disappointing, but it's okay. They're meant for using. I take as good care of them as I can. And I love this bag. I use it all the time. I love that it is a lot more discreet, like the quiet luxury, because if you want to go somewhere and not be flaunting a luxury bag, most people probably are not going to know this little tiny Lueve stamp, but you can just turn it around and wear it with this side out and then nobody has any idea that it is a designer bag. So beautiful bag. They're all beautiful bags. Those are my most used bags of the summer slash I've been using them all fall. This one and this one I will definitely continue to use in the colder months. The other two, it's gonna have to be a real sunny day for me to bust those out. But um, yeah, if you have any questions about any of these bags, let me know. If you have any videos you want to see on any of these bags, let me know. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on TikTok for more daily bag videos, daily outfits, and how I style these bags. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day.